Hey friends, it's Amy, owner and curator of Yoso Boho. I am here outside of my local Talmadge Goodwill, and I'm gonna run in here. I only have about an hour. I'm gonna see what I can find. I just made my normal UPS, USPS stops. It's been so busy. I'm not complaining. I mean, I'm tired, but I'm not complaining. I don't ever remember being this busy in my life, ever. <laughs> I had a list about this long today. Somehow I got through it. And usually when I get through a list, I reward myself with some thrifting, even though I'm tired. We're gonna go do some tired thrifting. <laughs> See what we can find. Let's go. Well, I started over here and decided to look up some things because there was a stack of these Cleveland Brown season ticket member hats. Um, no value there. I also found this seven time national championship. Oh, H. <laughs> um, with this little flower. Again, no value. So, just kind of taking a look. I like to look things up that I'm not really aware of because sometimes they can surprise you. Oh my gosh, look at how fun that is. Somebody make that. It's got sequins in it too. Sparkly. Oh my gosh. No, no berets. I think we will move along. Sometimes I do get lucky here with some bags. What is this? Why is there a bear down here? Oh my gosh. Why were you down there? He almost looks like he has an Ewok face. He's a Barrington bear. <laughs> I'll at least put him over where he belongs. Look at this, this looks like straight out of the 80s. Oh my gosh, doesn't it? I wonder if there's a tag on the inside. There's a made in Taiwan. Definitely old school. Oh my gosh, I, for I missed that. Shane and Co. I might have to look that up just out of curiosity. All right, I found another one new with tags for 16. Like new old stock, so. Probably not worth it, but very cool to see. All right, let's go check out the hard goods shelves and see maybe if there's a carton back, because that's where we get lucky. I got a very loud cart when I came in. <laughs> there is a cart back here, so let's take a look and see if it's really picked over. If there's anything for us, it's a very fancy wreath up there. Kind of like the way these look, too. And the lamp with the bird on it, some glasses, snap, cheers, confetti cannons. That sounds like cleanup. What are these? Salt and pepper. <laughs> Cute little puffer fish and a seahorse. Mm, we'll think about that. They're very new, but we'll think about it. Some tissues, some little wax guys, I don't know. Bag of miscellaneous. Some coloring books in there. Old coloring books can have some worth. And this one here, this pendant. We just saw some of these um, in the bins. I was hanging out with my friend Carol in the bins. <laughs> I believe those are made in Ashland, Ohio. Oh my gosh, look at that. Old hairpins. Little pillboxes in there. I just like the graphics on that. What does this say over here? Don't get your tinsel in a tangle. All right, I'll try not to. What's this one? Full of holiday spirits. 
So clever. What else do we got? We got a puzzle. We got a box over here that looks like kind of the top looks like a turtle, right? I don't think that's anything special. Imagination, fine porcelain. There's a bunch of these party lights, little candles. Plum mauve. All of them are plum mauve. All right, we got a big framed print down here. Some chicken wire, some plates, and a tea set. The tea set is not something quality. So let's check out this other one. Oh my gosh, no wonder the bear was over there. He can't fit in there. Look at how <laughs> towering. I wonder what kind of treasure's down in there. Wow. All right, let's see what's over here. Tripoli. That's a newer one. Uh, my family plays Tripoli. What's in here? Glow in the dark paints. Note cards, post-its, mm, little tiny stamps that my mom probably doesn't need. So we'll say no. We don't need a toaster with a hair on it or glasses. What's this? Looks like it could fit maybe a, a bottle of wine in there or something. It's kind of cool looking. $5 basket creations I thought it was going to say Bombay or something on it variety puzzles I like these kind of books for the camper when I'm bored word search, sudoku number search, trivia, word scramble mazes $1.25 anybody done any of them it does not appear so I'll pick this up my dad likes these too we got crayons I wonder if those are vintage no I see some Spanish on them so if they're bilingual they aren't vintage Little bags of things, what's in here? Candle things. Got a little gray enamel pot. Some colored pencils. We always look at the colored pencils. Gotta see if there's Prisma colors in there. These all look like maybe Crayola. Yeah, not special. A little bow tie for your dog. What is this? Oh, it's an incense. A little tiny elephant. It's kind of cute. It's very cheaply made, though. Um, a mirror. Dog leash. It reminds me I picked up a bunch of dog leashes somewhere. Maybe in the bins. And then I have to get over to... Uh, my dog rescue place that I love. Hmm, okay. Whale. Strike out on the cart. What's this? A groom box? Oh my. A groom box. Oh, that's one of those little dollars those are kind of nice the smaller crock pots for like dips and stuff oh strike out on the cart we did find this little book so these guys will probably not go home with me but 
let's see what's on the shelves now. This is kind of a blue end cap. I don't see much here at all. This is sticking out up here. Cane. Oh my gosh. It's a cane, but the top is like a saw. That's clever. I bet somebody would love to uh, gift that or have that. I'm gonna look that up. It's kind of clever. What else we got going on here? I've seen this before. I think I've seen this here, yeah. It's kind of amateur-ish. Hopefully there's something new that somebody missed. And maybe there's not. And that's okay. Oh no, <laughs> it's the same angels not getting enough air in their little baggy. Look at that little cat peeking out over there. <laughs> He's cute, somebody made him. Jane Kelly, cute. Look at this little bisque girl. Gosh, it's the closed eyes that get me all the time. Oh my, look at him with his little piggy pets. <laughs> his hands in his pockets looking all like, don't mess with me. I will sick my pigs on you. <laughs> my guy's happy. Let's see what's around this side. I see a little, this is a handmade Humpty Dumpty. What's this? Oh yeah, he's like that painted canvas. Oh my gosh, he's kind of sweet. He feels weird, but he's cool. Hmm. Somebody did a good job with him. Don't worry, y'all. I left his bag open so he could breathe. <laughs> oh, we got a strawberry pie dish. We got some, what are these? Set of four snowman mugs. Christmas cutouts. He's cool. Eight dollars, no thanks. What's going on here? Another eight dollars. That's kind of wild. Definitely has an older, brutalist look to it. Anything signed? Yeah, we're gonna do Google Lens look up on that. It definitely looks like it could be designer. Well, I didn't find anything exactly like this, but look at the brass on this. Um, it has some rust that I think I can maybe do a little sanding out. Um, but yeah, it's really quite cool. And it's a little rusty in there too. I'll have to see if I can clean it up. $8, I still think I can list it for around 60 so it's that cool. I also took a minute to look up this guy. I'm going to leave him. There's, I think, 15 similar listed and about one sold, so, and it was actually nice. It had, it actually looked like a saw, like it had a separate piece that came down. It was more stable, cooler looking. These are Westmoreland up here. I have a set of these. I always look at this every time I'm in here. That planter, it's brass. Uh, not gonna mess with it. 28 minutes till they close. I didn't really look at the other side of the aisle. I think I'm gonna walk back down through it. See if there's anything in the clear. Mm, little anchor hawking pumpkin back here. I may have picked that up if it was a couple of months ago. Oh, look, here's the daddy. See, I feel like I need to marry them. Get the baby and the daddy together. <laughs> these are really pretty up here, but they got $5 a piece on these. I do like the way that those look. I like the way this looks too, what is this? Maybe put your big pillar in there. That's attractive. Does that spin? It does. I really like that. 
That would look good as a centerpiece with one of those big candles. Oh, it's got damage. Darn, darn. Somebody screwed that too tight. It cracked it. It's kind of neat, though. Ooh, look at that splatter enamelware. That's pretty. Golden Rabbit. $5. Might be worth a look up. See what Golden Rabbits sell for. I feel like I've seen that before. Yeah, it's like brand new. Alright, let's look that up. Well, there are new ones listed for $13.99, $15. Uh, so, five is a no-go on that. How are you feeling? Well, thanks for asking. We're feeling okay. Somebody in the back is blasting music and singing. I love this set. I have this set. It's a Tupperware set. It came with little spoons, and I actually have the spoons. I'd be tempted to grab that if it had its little spoons or if it was in a better color. I don't know if you can hear the guy singing, but it's kind of entertaining. I didn't really look at the Christmas because I think I said earlier, I'm kind of done with Christmas. It would have to be amazing for me to scoop at this point. Something like, you know, vintage and cool. Are we seeing vintage and cool here? No, we're not. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> oh, that's wild. I think that's it. I'm putting back this. Actually, we're right near the wood section. We're gonna put it here. And I think this is gonna do it for us. I'm still debating on whether I need to have that either, but I've never seen anything like it before. And usually when I don't see anything like anything, that's my indication that maybe I should grab it. Even if it sits on eBay for a while, it's just so odd. I think it's worth it. Right, we're gonna walk to the front of the shop and we're gonna pass some sweaters. now we might find something that we can't live without you know I'm looking across the bottom right like what's long this looks long and it is but it's just not me what else is long I see long in here oh probably because it's sliding off the hanger that's why it looks long it's hanging down. It doesn't want to stay. It's a gap shirt. Nine minutes till they close. We're coming. We're coming. Don't panic. We only have two things. Ooh, this is orange. Cuddle duds. <gasps> Ooh, we like orange and long and cuddly. All right, I'm gonna put it on and see if it is long enough for my arms. It's blue, so it's not half off, but it looks like it's in really nice condition. I always look up here in the armpits. Yeah, it looks good. Oh my gosh, look what else I found. It's torrid. It's giraffes. You guys, check this out. Could we do this? I know it's sleeveless, but... Could we do this? Yo. That just looks like it was meant to be, doesn't it? Okay, I guess we'll get both. We need to check out before we see something else. This looks like LuLaRoe with its tag missing. It's 
Speaking of LuLaRoe, I'm going to be listing a bunch of LuLaRoe. I bought a bunch um, from a friend who started a business. What is that? That's adorable. Um, nope, we got the best thing off the rack. Let's just go with it. My friend who sold, actually she still sells, but um, I supported her and bought a lot of it. And I'll be listing it. So if there's any style of LuLaRoe that you love, hit me up. I can send you some photos of the styles that I have and the patterns that I have. Wow. This look like um, 9-11 PJs or pants. I don't even know if they're PJs. I think somebody made them. They're handmade. Hmm. Four minutes, she said, four minutes. Okay, we're coming. We're coming. We only have four things. All right, y'all, I'll see you in the car. Well, the lighting in this car is no better <laughs> than the lighting in my Prius. Hello. <laughs> uh, sometimes you strike out, you just never know. I was kind of happy to find that candelabra. It's just different. I've never seen anything like it. So I hope somebody is looking for that kind of thing and I'll have it over on eBay with a pretty good price on it. I paid eight, so I like to get 10 times my money. That's kind of the goal, but 80 might be a little bit much to ask. So I'm thinking I'll price it somewhere between 60 and 65 and see what happens. Of course, I'll be looking around and doing more research and trying to find if there's a designer associated with it and then maybe it's worth a whole bunch more, but we'll see. All right, y'all, I am ready to head home. It's gonna be hard over the winter to do any sort of outro in the car, especially after it's dark, and that happens at like five o'clock now, so, oh well. <laughs> Thanks for coming along and checking out the Goodwill. I will see you on the next one. Until then, please take care. Bye.